Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at Anchor Nebula's latest portable projector. This is the Cosmos Laser 4K. There's two variants of this projector, so a 1080p version and a 4K version, which is what I'll be reviewing today. With an impressive spec supporting a 4K picture resolution with HDR10, has 2400 ISO lumens and auto keystone correction. Together with two 10 watt speakers built in, the operating system is Android TV and it can project a massive picture of up to 150 inches. The projector uses laser technology to give enhanced brightness, saturation and contrast levels together with a clearer, more detailed picture quality. So I'll be taking you through the spec, testing out the picture quality during the day and night and with the lights on in a room using an ALR screen which rejects ambient light, a standard screen and projecting onto a plain white wall. We'll also see how well the speakers perform and test it out for gaming on the next gen gaming consoles. So the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. I'll also compare it against my LG OLED TV to give you an idea of how well it performs in comparison. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. Let's begin by unboxing this and seeing what you get in the packaging. You get a box which says accessories kit and in there you get the following. There's some documentation including a quick start guide, a power cable with a clover leaf connector, two AAA batteries for the remote, a remote control, a Nebula 4K streaming dongle, and finally the projector. Taking a closer look at the projector, I put the dimensions on the screen and size wise it's pretty compact and weighs 10.7 pounds or 4.9 kilos. So not the lightest. The build quality is very good. Now coming around the front, you have the lens which is protected with a plastic film. So let me remove this. There's a red accent around the lens just for aesthetics. And next to that, either side, you have the autofocus and auto keystone correction sensors together with the Nebula branding at the bottom. The projector supports a maximum picture resolution of 3840 by 2860, so 4K at 60 Hertz, supporting HDR10 with 2400 ISO lumens and a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, which is full on, full off, meaning that the whites are 1000 times brighter than the blacks. At the top, you have a handle with a rubber grip underneath, so nice and convenient when carrying, making it very portable. There's touch controls, including a power button towards the back. The controls illuminate as soon as you touch them, which is a really great feature, especially as a projector would be used generally in a darkened room. On the sides, you've got the cooling fans together with the dual five watt tweeters and two 10 watt speakers, where the sound is customizable via equalizers and Dolby audio is supported. At the back, you've got the ports at the bottom. We have a power input, HDMI 2.0 port, USB 2.0 port, and an auxiliary output, allowing you to connect up some speakers. Dual band Wi-Fi supported, so both 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi, together with Bluetooth 5, enabling you to pair up a Bluetooth speaker or any other Bluetooth devices. Just above the ports, there's a small removable panel, and this is where the 4K streaming dongle is installed. And this is pretty easy to do. Just remove the cover, take the dongle, insert the two cables and place it into position. Then you just put the cover back on. Underneath there's two rubber strips which stop the projector from slipping on a flat surface. And in the middle there's a mounting point allowing you to mount it directly onto a tripod. But if you do do this, make sure your tripod is strong enough to hold the projector as it is quite weighty. Setup of the projector is really easy. Once connected up and powered on, just go through the Android setup answering the different questions and update the firmware if required. The process doesn't take too long and you're up and running pretty quick. One of the features of the projector is the auto keystone correction, auto focus, and there's also screen fit that will snap the picture into the correct place, avoiding any objects that may be in the way 
and you can get this automatically happening on startup or when the projector is moved, enabling you to get the best image quality without having to fiddle around with the settings, but you can also manually adjust if required. The projector is not limited to being placed directly in front of the screen it's projecting onto, as you're able to place it at an angle to the screen and project from the side and still get great picture quality. There's also an eye guard to protect your eyes. So if you come in front of the laser beam, a warning message comes up on the screen and the brightness level is reduced. Startup speed from a cold start is about 46 seconds and noise levels are minimal at under 30 decibels. The display technology used here is DLP and the light engine is laser powered to give enhanced brightness, saturation and contrast over a standard projector. The light source has a 25,000 hour life so if you've used it 4 hours a day it could theoretically last you 17 years. The operating system is Android TV 10 and it has 2 gigs of RAM together with 16 gigs of storage. Chromecast is built in so you can cast from your mobile together with Google Assistant support from the remote. Performance when navigating around the interface is good and responsive. You've got Google Play Store too with lots of apps in there for streaming services together with some basic Android games. And unlike many other projectors on the market, Netflix is supported natively. The throw ratio is 1.27 to 1 and I've provided some example projection sizes together with the distances from the screen. Now I've set up my projector screen and I'm getting a 100 inch display at about 9 feet 3 inches away. Testing out the picture quality in a completely dark room with my fixed screen projector screen and the picture quality is absolutely stunning with the colours popping out from the screen and stunning clarity levels in 4K. Then turning on the lights in the room and the quality is still very good as you can see very minimal reduction in picture quality. Now watching in daylight you can see it's still really good but remember the more bright light you get directly on the screen the picture quality will just get washed out. Testing with an ALR screen and this particular one is aimed at short throw projectors and it still works pretty well with a long throw projector and as you can see in a dark room the quality is still great. Now turning on the lights in the room you can see it's still working really well and still usable and you can see here the difference an ALR screen makes. And finally now onto daylight and you can see for yourself it looks great. Moving on to just projecting onto a plain white wall and the results are really impressive in a dark room. Really good contrast and colour levels and you could say you could get away with not using a projector screen as the picture quality is so good. Now with the lights on you can see the picture quality is still good, a little bit washed out but still usable and finally with daylight in the room. Picture quality works well but again if you had direct sunlight on the screen the colours will be washed out but nevertheless good performance with this. The general experience when viewing movies, TV shows or even watching YouTube is great with stunning levels of clarity in 4K and great colour and contrast levels. You've got lots of streaming services available via Google Play Store and it's great to see Netflix working by default as there's a number of other projectors I've reviewed previously where it just didn't work. Let's test out some gaming on the projector and just to note it's not aimed at the gaming market but it does have a gaming mode where on standard you get a 40 millisecond response time and in extreme you get a 30 millisecond response time but in extreme you'd have to reduce the resolution to 1080p and due to the response time you wouldn't want to play any FPS games as you wouldn't stand a chance of getting a good gaming experience but racing or role playing games are generally fine and worth noting that as the device has an Android operating system you can download games directly from the Google Play Store. So basic games like Crossy Road or Beach Buggy Racing can be played on here with no issues and you can even pair up a controller as the projector supports Bluetooth. Now I've connected up my Xbox Series X and looking in the display settings you can see 4K at a maximum of 60Hz is supported together with HDR10 and this is because the HDMI port is HDMI 2.0 and not HDMI 2.1 so it doesn't make the most of the next gen gaming consoles. Testing out Forza Horizon 5 and Dirt 5 and the experience is awesome on the 100 inch screen. Picture quality is really good with an immersive feel on the big screen and response times are sufficient to get a good game experience. On Dirt 5 colours are quite vibrant with great contrast levels as you can see. Moving on to Forza Horizon 5 again picture quality is great with stunning levels of clarity in 4k. Now connecting up my PlayStation 5 and playing Astro's Playroom again colours and contrast levels are great and it's still playable. On to Spider-Man Miles Morales which isn't bad either. Check out the quality on the intro sequence 
The colours and contrast levels look stunning. Moving on to Call of Duty Warzone, which is an FPS game where fast reaction times are essential and this does feel pretty tough to play due to the response time, which isn't sufficient to get a good gaming experience. But overall, it's performed well depending on the games you're planning to play on there. And it's fine for occasionally gaming on, giving stunning picture quality and awesome clarity levels. Let's compare the projector against my OLED TV. And this is the LG C1 OLED, which is a 55 inch. Now picture quality on both is really good, but you can see the blacks and contrast levels are more superior on the OLED. But with the projector, you're getting a portable big screen experience that you can take anywhere with you and get up to 150 inch screen, which works really well even without a projector screen. The sound quality from the projector is not bad at all and more than sufficient for a good viewing experience with its two 10 watt speakers and dual 5 watt tweeters supporting Dolby audio. Obviously it can't compete with a sound bar or surround sound system but it's still good and to demonstrate I've turned up the volume so have a listen to this. The remote has all the basic functions you'd expect, enabling you to control the projector and navigate around the interface. The buttons aren't backlit, but have an okay feel to them. And you don't have to point it directly to the projector to use it. You have some quick access buttons on the bottom, including Netflix and Amazon Prime, and you have Google Voice Assistant at the top. So just click the button and speak into the mic at the top. And as an example, if I say open YouTube Geek Street. All right, here are some videos. And there you have it opens up simple as that so in summary this is a pretty cool portable projector perfect for anyone wanting portability over a permanent fixed setup with stunning 4k picture quality and great color and contrast levels you've got some great inbuilt speakers and lots of streaming apps including netflix working natively together with a nice compact design with a great build quality Negatives wise, it would have been great if it supported HDMI 2.1 with a faster response time for gaming and I would have had an optical audio output together with a LAN port. But I can understand why they haven't as Nebula has aimed this more for portability than for a fixed setup. Nebula are doing an amazing $500,000 giveaway. You'll automatically be entered into one of the giveaways if you pick up one of these Cosmos laser projectors. The giveaway closes on June the 6th and details are on the screen and all links are in the description below. So there you have it, you come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And if you're still here, drop a 4K laser in the comments as it's nice to see who's made it to the end of my videos. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. And if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.